bam baby so here's uh part two of the ninja character modeling tutorial video thing my bobber so I'm in Photoshop right now and just very quickly I'm gonna show you how I set these images up now remember like I told you his arm was down like his uh, right arm so I just selected it and then I just rotate it upwards okay so the reason for that is because when we model into Maya usually you model a character in a T pose or you know people call it a Jesus pose Jesus because he's like a T pose but the reason for that is because when we go and we rig it or we have the controllers and we skin it um, his arm is halfway between going up and going down so it makes the skinning around the shoulder a little bit easier because if you model him like he is on this side you know it's kinda hard to get underneath his arm here and then you know set the weights but you know it's it's up to you I just think it's easier and a lot of people you know professionally have preferred this this type of pose so we're gonna stick with the T pose just to make it easier for you and it's a lot easier modeling the fingers when you're looking at it from the top okay so let's leave it as is so what I did here is I lined up the images of the front view with the side view so if I turn on the other view that I have here I have the side view and I have the front view now it's very important that when you draw the side view you draw him looking to the left or it doesn't matter if you draw him looking to the right you can obviously change the the way he's looking by hitting control T and then on the width here you see it says width and then you have height over here as well uh, what you can do is on the width just go in front of this 100 percent positive and make that into a negative that will just flip your character the other way okay so make sure he's looking to the left okay so there he is hit enter and what I like to do is line them up you need to make sure that so here's my side view this is the side and this is the front so I go to the side view and you need to make sure that he's fairly close so I'm lowering the opacity so you can see through it control plus to zoom in and then spacebar and click and drag to move it around you need to make sure that the top of his head lines up with the top of his head of the other view and then same thing with the bottom of his chin let me just move him over so you can see the bottom of his chin in the front matches with the bottom of his chin in the side and then same thing with everything else like his knees his knees are pretty much leveled in the same area and then obviously the bottom of his foot needs to match with the bottom of his foot on the other view you know just make sure everything sort of lines up the way that it should because when we model it let's say in the front view we also want it to match in the side view so that's why it's very important that it matches so I would have that image and this image as two separate images in Maya so now that we have this you can go ahead and save this as a JPEG this would be like the the side and then you can go ahead and save it as a JPEG and then there you would have your side and then you can come to the front and then save this out again as you know name it front and then it would be a JPEG and then there it is so if you don't have Photoshop you know don't worry about it I'm gonna share these images for free that's right for free when you buy my DVD course <laughs> no I'm joking it's gonna be free I'm gonna have like a little download link on my description so check it out 
All right, that's enough about Photoshop. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. Maya. So again, make sure you have your front and your side viewports open. And I like to work with my perspective. Now you don't have to work this way, but I find it a lot easier. So let's go to view under the front. Okay, we go to view uh, image plane. And then we do import image. Import means to bring in. Okay, import, you know, like we say imports from China, which means, you know, things come from China to the US. It means to bring in. Okay, whatever. Import image. And we're going to go and we're going to find the front ninja front JPEG. And we're going to open it. And now, bam, there it is. There is our front. Now we're going to do the same thing but now on the side viewport. So look for view under the side import. Again image plane. Import image. And then we're going to look for our side. The ninja side. Wow. And boom there we go. Now if I don't know if your images came in screwed up. Mine sure did. Sometimes they don't. But let's go ahead and fix that how do we fix that uh, right now we're on our side viewport if you deselect it you know now we don't have anything selected so let's go and select this camera so we're on our side viewport and let's go to our channel box at the bottom it says image plane either you have a one or a two click on that and then let's zero everything out from size zero that out and then let's zero the XYZ center so that it's exactly centered and then the width and height let's just make this even 20 okay now let's go to our front view select the camera and then that would be this watch what happens when we start messing with this other one so again X and Y zero this out zero these guys out and then width and height we need to match it to our side so we set the first one to 20 we're gonna set these guys to 20 as well and now if we come here to our perspective boom everything lines up beautifully well not perfect you can see the top of his head is off by a hair but that's okay the bottom his feet here look like they're they're lined up very nicely and now what we need to do is we need to push these out so we can make room for our model okay so how do we do that again let's go back to our our front select the camera and now we're gonna mess with the uh, the center Z because I know the Z axis is forward and back I, I know it's gonna be the Z so click on the this attribute here and then just middle mouse click and drag and I'm gonna move this behind the grid roughly make sure you're off of this side image Okay, so maybe there. And now let's go to the side view. Click on the camera. And we're going to come down here to image plane 2. Again, I know this is the uh, X axis. So I'm going to go to center X. Middle mouse click and drag it off to the side. Oh, well, somewhere there. Right there. And now it looks like we're pretty much ready to start working I'm gonna hide the grid uh, one more thing the reason why we push this away and why we need to have this area clear is because when we come in here and we create you know, let me create a cylinder it's gonna create this object right in the center and you see this black line if we go here to our well that doesn't look right no. Well, he's a ninja. Maybe he's like, ee, ee. okay, enough of that. 
uh, zoom in here if I make this bigger now check this out the front view is smack center now here's another thing when I created this image I had to make sure that the ninja was perfectly centered on this image so when I came in here uh, the center of this whole thing here from left to right it should be let me it should be right on the center of the ninja so this distance between here to here should be the exact same distance between here and here and then that's where you draw the line and then that's where you move this guy to line up right in the center okay so that's very important your ninja needs to be right in the center but I've already done this for you and like I said I'm gonna share this image with you so you don't have to worry about it now I hit 4 on my keyboard so I can see through it and this is the reason why because when I add a a polygon here you see some of these polygons they have this the center line right down the middle of our model so we can use that to our advantage because this is right in the center okay so that's how we set up our reference images and we're gonna get ready for modeling so I'm gonna get rid of this so I hope you guys understand how to set up your image plane you just go to your viewports make sure you're not under your perspective when you're adding these images go to the front viewport again quick overview uh, view image plane import image and then find the image that you want to bring in and that's it and then to manipulate everything about that image you would go into that camera not view you go into that select camera go to your channel box go to the bottom go to image plan boom zero everything out and then make sure your width and height for both images the front and the side are exactly the same okay now I could make these smaller you know it doesn't matter but both of them need to be the exact same number okay and then using the center X and the center Z you can move these and push the images back and forth again like I said make sure that your side viewport is looking to the left because you know our character is looking forward so you can see here our character is looking this way he's looking at us right in the front he's looking at us and on the side he's looking still this way now this is the reason why I said make sure you don't you don't flip this guy to the right because it wouldn't make sense this guy is looking at us which means he's looking out left right this way if I were to flip this guy now he's looking at him it's like he's looking the wrong way okay so that's why it's important that you you uh, flip your drawing to look left in Photoshop remember that so side view always look left because and the front viewport he's looking at us so I'll keep him looking at us alright that's it hopefully you guys understand this and if you don't you know send me a message subscribe and I'll keep you posted on my other videos alright so cha cha later